club was established in 1874. Which obviously means in two years time it'll be 150 years in existence. When you look at Melbourne Football Club that's been established for 170 years, there's not much difference. Nathan's a class act and that's why we took him number one in the Carlton Draft because one, the assimilation with the Demons and two, just being out of the game, we thought that he could probably add the most out of all of the, the eight footballers to our structure. <laughs> Feeling a bit of pressure, you know, these guys took me with pick one and there's a bit of background and irony in the whole story, the fact that I played for the D's and I'm back here playing for the D's. Hopefully, most importantly, we can get a win today. I think we've played 30 games in three years and we haven't won any of those. We might not be as talented as other teams, but we certainly go about it the right way and, and every time the boys step on the park, they really give a good account of themselves. If I was to look at their recent history, there hasn't been a whole heap of success. Uh, they haven't won a game this season, but we are a sniff today, I reckon. For a chap like him to come down and support our club, what better way to get behind the club and help them out in the future? You know, it's just a start of something big for our club, I think. It's community, it's a, that's what it's all about, it's local community. If you don't have local football, you don't have your town, you lose your identity. The best recruits at any club football is your kids. They come up through the, through the juniors, all they want to do is pull a senior jumper on. It's not the first time I've worn this jumper, obviously, but it might be the last. I'm really wrapped to be down here, I can't wait to run out. And I love the fact there's a fierce rivalry going on here, and uh, I reckon from what I'm hearing, we're a sneaky chance. So. Let's get stuck into them. Yeah. Mike Brady releasing his new song today. How good will that be? So hopefully everyone gets behind it and that, that'll be our new catch cry, I would imagine. Look, it's been in the back of my mind for a few years, but I think the COVID, how it damaged regional country football and communities, I just felt that it was the time for it. I was lucky enough really to call the cart and draft people. If they did understand and they said, yeah, we'll give it a go, we'll sponsor it. So it's been really lovely just to get the word out to support country footy and it needs support. You have to put in the effort. We have to be hard, we have to be ferocious. And put fear into them. We have to put fear in them, we have to stop their run, we have to go hard at them, and when we get the ball, we run and run hard. Don't play like a team that's sitting on the bottom, play like a team that's a good side sitting on top of that. That's how we have to play today. Not too bad. I think uh, the boys are fighting pretty hard. Um, There's still a massive chance. It's only five, six goals, but yeah, the boys, I think they just got to slog it out and try and ride the wave of the big crowd and home crowd and give them a bit of a scare here, I reckon. Jay-Z, well done. You've come down here. The fans, they reckon it was a grand final crowd, albeit they're sitting on the bottom of the ladder, but you've lifted their spirits. Well done. No. I think the average losing margin for these boys is 150 points for this year, and we only lost by maybe around 60, so, so I'll take that as a win. How has the body pulled up after um, a full, full quarters? No, I'm all right. It's more the, you would know, the change of direction stuff. <laughs> My groins and hips and stuff are cooked, but good fun. Steve, on behalf of Carlton Draft, we'd like to present you with this check for $5,000 to Port Arlington Demons. Thanks so much for having me today, mate. It's been Thank awesome. <laughs>